So first of all, I would like to thank the organizer <coughs> for uh, having the idea of this uh, very nice conference and also for inviting me. And uh, <coughs> I also should mention that what uh, I'm talking about is the result of uh, several discussions uh, and uh, collaboration with uh, Olivia Caramello and Lo Laurent Lafogue. So I have to thank uh, also uh, Laurent and Olivia. <coughs> so I organized the talk in the, the following way. First of all, <coughs> I, I give you some introduction. And uh, this is also overview. And I would say desiderata. So I put uh, a very general uh, view on the, the subject. Uh, the second uh, or first uh, <laughs> point is uh, this syntactic categories for Nori motives, which is uh, a report of uh, key results due to Olivia Caramello. And uh, <clears throat> some outcome of uh, this, which is uh, what I, I titled T motives. And the last uh, I mentioned, the <coughs> motivic complexes. Okay, so first of all, a couple of words on uh, these T motives. As you see, this uh, T stands for, so T motives stands for theoretical. motives. Okay, so you, as you have uh, theoretical physics, uh, you might like to have uh, theoretical motives. Uh, well, the theoretical means that uh, <coughs> are associated to some theory. Okay, so this is uh, the, the, the idea. So the idea in the theory of motives, uh, which is the uh, outcome of a Grothendieck idea <clears throat> to attach uh, to a scheme uh, something which is the finest uh, uh, invariant of a scheme uh, has been developed by two different uh, point of view, which not completely different, but originated by Grotted in the idea. One is using cycles, uh, and this goes uh, as the original construction of Chow motifs and Grotendieck motifs. And uh, after, uh, with the Vevosky construction, which is uh, using still uh, correspondences, and uh, so it, uh, it is a, a continuation of this point of view on motifs. Another point of view is the Tanakian point of view. Okay? So this is uh, originated uh, already in a uh, Grothendieck view of motives, but uh, <coughs> only recently has been introduced in a, in a, in a, in a, a formal way, I would say, by Nori, using uh, the idea of Nori of constructing motives. So these uh, two points of view are, of course, are related, and. Uh, <coughs> I want to show that, uh, in fact, there is a third point of view, which is, uh, in some sense, uh, independent from these two point of view, which is uh, uh, the following one. So, which is related, strongly related to the idea of a theory and uh, <coughs> that of uh, a motivic topos. Okay, so the first uh, thing that I want to say is uh, what uh, <coughs> we expect uh, here is uh, a motivic topos E of T, 
which is uh, the classify or should be the classifying topos <coughs> of uh, a homology or homology. Let's put. Uh, I will give you the idea for any category C, but of course for us, uh, the main idea, that I, uh, the main application is uh, for schemes over a field. And uh, when I say schemes, I say a finite type over a field, so algebraic schemes over a field. Okay, so <clears throat> of course this is ambiguous and is not unique. Uh, it uh, depends on the theory. It depends on what is the cohomology theory. So, of course, uh, this is, uh, and maybe you want to put uh, some even here, okay? So, cohomology theory in logics are not uh, that I know uh, develop, de developed. I, I don't know any logical uh, axiomatization of uh, homology theory. In fact, uh, this is one of the starting points from uh, this point of view. So you might add uh, other condition, of course. Uh, if you like, uh, you can add uh, that you want uh, this uh, to be connected. Uh, and uh, locally connected. So and also pointed with a point. Here points uh, are models, okay? So in this case, uh, you have uh, associated a motivi gala group, uh, which is the fundamental group of the distopos. So, Lucas, yeah. maybe you, it is obvious that uh, I think you should uh, say that, uh, of course, uh, we would want uh, the usual cohomology theories to yes, be points sure. of this topos. Yeah, sure. So, Yes, sure. Thank you. Usual means uh, singular homology, Eleatic homology, the rank homology in the in the category of, for the category of schemes, but uh, also other homology. If you take C in other category, you think to C as a category of spaces. So I, I want to to develop the, also this general point of view. It's not a, so. <clears throat> what are T motives? Uh, so this uh, sh this topos shall be provided. Uh, with the T motives, which I, I mean effective. This isn't, so there is a, some stabilization that I want, I, I'm not going to talk, so I only think about the effective motives. Uh, so which are a billion. group uh, objects of uh, this, uh, but not only this, also constructible and constructible emotives, some, some which reflect uh, finiteness conditions inside. So <coughs> this means uh, that uh, you have uh, a billion. So I, I see, as you see, I, I already put a billion in the parentheses because, in fact, there are also non-commutative T motives. Okay. So I, let me just. Uh, I, I will not uh, talk about, but uh, you have a billion groups inside this topos. Uh, here you have uh, these uh, T motives inside it, and then you have constructible T motives. Uh, and in this situation, of course, this can be equal. I'm not saying that uh, should be different. Okay, so <clears throat> but you want inside this uh, to have uh, these uh, things. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> if you drop uh, ab and you put uh, groups, uh, 
you might have uh, a non commutative uh, situation. So, yeah, 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 this in this case, uh, it's okay, see. You're right. I mean, it's not. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't mention here. So, yeah. But not commutative because you want to include pi one. Yeah. Also, you can you can include pi one, uh, uh, but uh, what I, I want to say that in, in the abelian or commutative context, this uh, this mode is uh, should be a Grothendieck uh, abelian category, like uh, like this. And this should be just uh, in the abelian. Here, you don't have, uh, uh, as uh, you are talking about this uh, parallel between uh, abelian categories and toposes. Uh, so you have a non-commutative analog that could be just uh, uh, exact uh, in the sense of bar. Okay, so you have uh, that uh, in general. A billion is uh, bar exact plus uh, additive. And if you drop this uh, and you add uh, maybe some uh, other, like uh, you might get a semi abelian uh, or other kind of categories, but you drop additivity, <coughs> you have this notion, which is already quite good. Uh, and it, in fact, uh, this category of groups. Uh, Inside the topos uh, is bar exact. Okay, so okay, so this is not uh, it's not much. Uh, huh? What you really want is uh, the realization functors. So, so this is uh, really the idea, the idea of motifs. Uh, so from the point of view of topos, realization functors. <clears throat> which are now associated to T models in suitable categories. Like, as I said, uh, 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 bar exact uh, or uh, <coughs> a billion or topos, and maybe others. Okay, so that means that if you have this theory and you take a model, which is a T model of this inside this E, this uh, adds <coughs> a realization And this uh, e should be what I said. Uh, for example, if you, if you are in a situation where this is a Grothendieck uh, abelian category, you want to realize in uh, abelian and Grothendieck here. Okay, so this is uh, what, uh, or exact, or uh, of course for constructible, you, you might uh, just uh, drop the condition of to be Grothendieck, have uh, just a billion category. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, one point. But uh, to be motives, you have uh, you need the motive factor. So the last uh, point. Uh, ah. Okay. Sorry. So the last point here is that. <coughs> The motivic factor in this context uh, should be something that associates the object of your category, a motivic complex, uh, which is a chain complex in T motives, whatever they are. Okay, so first of all, T motivic uh, complexes. Uh, which are just uh, Object of a chain of uh, T motives. Uh, so 
independent of the realization. Yeah, yeah, sure. It, this, this is a very important uh, point. This should be independent from the realization. Not, uh, uh, it's just, this is uh, uh, something which uh, send an object uh, to this. Uh, chain complexes. Uh, so this is a T motivic uh, functor. <coughs> Exactly. So then you have, because this, uh, you are, ah, I didn't say, but of course your realization should be exact. And in fact, they derive naturally, but I just use the chain complexes here, okay? They just, so be, and you will see in a second why I'm just using chain complexes, okay? So <coughs> chain of uh, E, this is again F of H. And, uh, and that's uh, essentially all in a sense that uh, if you have this, uh, you have uh, quite a lot. Uh, because in fact, uh, has been noticed recently, by, as I know, by Dagger, that uh, we have a, a universal homotopy category associated to any category. Okay, so this is uh, simply shell pre-sheaves. Uh, on C, with the model structure, okay, which is uh, universal with respect to any other functor to model structure. So this is a, a functor which you see is just induced by Yoneda. And uh, here I have constructed another functor, which is uh, in chain complexes. But chain complexes do have a natural model structure. So, you immediately get a quillen pair like this. So then there are variations on this. You can take other kind of pre-sheaves. Uh, so we enrich the category of pre-sheave. And this is a pair of adjunct ones. Yes, it's a quillen pair. So it's a pair of adjuncts which uh, is compatible with the model structure. I don't... Uh, Want to, in fact, I'm not using at all this part, uh, but uh, what I want to say is that uh, if you put a C equal to schemes, this is a way to present the mod moral Vevosky structure, which is just a quotient of this. In some sense, uh, these categories, these uh, universal homotopy categories are uh, the free model category. And then when you have a model category, you have a kind of presentation, as, as, you, as you say. So in some sense, uh, there is a notion of presentation. And uh, for uh, schemes, you get a modern Vevoxy structure just by contracting the line and imp imposing some uh, conditional shift conditions, so gluing conditions. Sorry? Maya Vietoris, uh, if you want, but uh, this is just Shift conditions, okay, so at, at the level of, uh, this is a stable homotopy category, it's not, uh, okay, so, <clears throat> so in some sense, uh, the idea is that these play the role of this one. And then, uh, in some sense, uh, you see that there should be a way to think uh, this uh, chain of uh, theoretical mozi, motives, so these motivic complexes, and in a, <clears throat> in a way that presents the derived category of motives, because then you can also contract uh, some interval object that you have in C and impose a condition that you want. So you, if you have this functor, you can impose condition. So this is uh, the idea. And I will, I will show you that, uh, <clears throat> in fact, uh, for schemes, I can, I can describe uh, this uh, Fully. In fact, the, the, for schemes, uh, this uh, chain of uh, three mo motives uh, maps to both uh, Vevosky construction and Nori construction. So, in some sense, uh, is uh, so. I say this, uh, but I, I want to go ahead. So, this is just uh, schemes uh, get uh, chain of. Uh, motives uh, 
So here of noria means uh, derived category of uh, the end category of nori. It's not uh, it's a little bit, uh, but I, I just put uh, nori and uh, Vyvoski. Just I'm sloppy, sorry, but uh, I will I will make a precise how to get these functors. Nori depends on the choice of a realization. Sure, sure. Yes, this is why I have this functor. In fact, uh, in fact, uh, as I'm showing a key a key point of uh, of the picture is the proof of Olivia of the construction of, an, of Nori motive. It's a really a key point. Okay, so I will show you in the next. It's not, uh, it's not coming from uh, nowhere. Okay, so, but it's, uh, everything is, is very simple. It's not, uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead. And uh, start to to see what are Nori motives. Okay, so. Uh, Luca, before yes. we raise the blackboard, uh, I would just want to make the remark that, uh, so here, of course, you are requesting you are, uh, this uh, possible motivic topos to be connected and locally connected, but uh, um, in, fa in fact, we can wonder which type of property. Yeah, maybe, we, yeah, of course, uh, yes, you're right. So, uh, 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 Maybe I should say uh, that uh, so Olivia is uh, looking uh, for something much stronger, which is a uh, uh, topos which could be um, uh, two val atomic with two valued. So two valued atomic. Two valued atomic. Uh, so which would uh, 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 provide. Uh, so if it existed, of course we don't know, but if it existed, it would immediately uh, yield the fact, which is expected, that all uh, classical cohomology functors uh, uh, have, uh, 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 give the same dimensions for uh, cohomology spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this would be a, a yeah, yeah. theoretic no, 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 lifting no. of this fact, which of course is uh, expected, but uh, we absolutely don't know how to prove. Yes, this is a good point to make because, uh, in fact, uh, you see this, uh, this uh, the construction that I, I made uh, is independent, uh, is independent uh, it, as you will see, it's completely independent from Grothendieck standard con conjecture, which are related to what uh, Laurent is uh, saying because uh, property of realizations uh, like... Uh, I mean, from this point of view, uh, I mean... Uh, it is not exactly the same thing. It is, a, for instance, the case of that is uh, independence of L, uh, but it is not exactly the same thing as... Uh, no, 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 no. But uh, yes, in the, if you want to show that in the particular case of uh, what we are going to see now, it is independent from the choice uh, of uh, the theory, you're absolutely right. But... Uh, uh, if you want to prove that uh, f uh, you take a derived category of uh, this kind of T motives or even the Vevosky motives, their realization is uh, conservative or uh, faithful, then this is uh, equivalent uh, by Bailinson to the standard conjecture of Grothendieck. Okay, so the property of realization, which is very, is, uh, and, uh, and here I'm far from this, uh, <laughs> okay? So I, I'm not saying that uh, this implies uh, this big, but uh, what, uh, uh, what is the guess uh, is that uh, you will see at the end that uh, this uh, derived category of uh, T motives uh, provide uh, some T structure. This is my guess, okay? So which is uh, something that we are looking for on uh, the category of Vevosky. This is uh, where, ah, sorry. Sorry for <coughs> ah okay yes let me go a little faster okay so but I want to prove uh, this uh, the proof uh, of this is important so first uh, I want to give this uh, so this is uh, a theorem let's say Nori 
caramello, which is the following. We take a diagon, and a, a representation of this diagram that I, I, for simplicity, I take abelian groups, but you can make variation on this target. So this representation is just, a, a, this is not a category, it's just a, a graph, oriented graph, so associate an object to an object and an arrow to an arrow. It's a map of graph, okay? Then, <coughs> We then have a faithful exact factorization which I write through an abelian, abelian category, CT, which is a universal among the factorization. So is actually initial. What I mean, so that that is, uh, we have, uh, sorry, put here D of CT in AMB tilde and FT. Then you have uh, A, a billion, and S and F, and then uh, there is a uh, this one that I want to call this uh, RS, RS, which is uh, making everything commutative, and this means uh, strictly commutative. So this is really, even the statement uh, was a little weaker in the, even for a billion group. In fact, there is no statement for a billion group because in the situation of Nori, you have a finitely generated abelian groups. And here we have all abelian groups. Provided F is uh, exact and faithful. Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> so what uh, I, I said, okay. This is exact, uh, thank you. Exact, faithful. Uh, also, uh, sure. Exact and faithful. Okay, so. <clears throat> So how is the proof going? Uh, this is, you don't see logic uh, in the statement. This is, uh, I think, uh, <laughs> really beautiful that you, you really can prove this uh, in a very elementary, putting together elementary things uh, which are coming from the theory of uh, categorical logic uh, uh, framework. Okay, so proof. <coughs> So what do you do? You construct uh, what is called the, the theory of the model. Okay, so you just uh, construct or uh, consider the theory of the model, which is uh, I want to so let's denote this uh, TT or uh, the theory of t, if you want, uh, this is a, you have a theory of the model, which is, a, is the signature given by sorts uh, <coughs> d for each element, so element of uh, object of D. So this is just a symbol. Huh? It's not uh, and uh, <coughs> function symbols uh, D 
d d1 for arrows of d plus function symbols for uh, binary operation unary operation and zero ary in order to formalize a structure of uh, a group a billion group okay and this is for any object okay so this is what you have then the theory is uh, just simply is uh, the regular is enough uh, theory given by all uh, sequence which are valid in T. Yes, you have a model. So this, we want to, to have a theory whose models la, are like T. So in, in fact, uh, we, we, want, we put uh, the axioms which are exactly what. So for example, I don't say that uh, we put axioms uh, like abelian groups because they are abelian groups and these are regular sequences. So they are true in the model, so are in the axiom of the theory. Okay? We, don't have, we don't need to say that uh, are uh, homomorphism because uh, homomorph to be homomorphism is a regular sequence which is true in the model and so is true in the theory. This is uh, the idea, okay? So <clears throat> now what is CT? CT is, uh, the, we have uh, seen uh, variants of this, uh, but uh, this is a bar exact completion of the syntactic uh, category C T reg uh, regular syntactic category. Oh, uh, put reg here. Okay. So if you want, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, you can take uh, several uh, syntactic category associated even to a regular theory, as uh, Olivia was explaining. Uh, Ah, sorry. Yes, sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we get rid of this T at least in a moment. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. And uh, the key fact here is the following one. Let's see if I can get this black word. Uh, maybe I can use also this. <clears throat> okay. Yes, so the key fact is the following lemma is that uh, because uh, you internalize this operation of abelian groups and so on, you have that uh, actually T reg is additive and you, you can easily see what is uh, the zero object uh, which is true in this uh, which is the final object, actually, which is sentence true. So this is uh, given by the objects are formulas, and so you have a formula true, which is uh, the zero object of this category, and then this pro and propagate uh, the cons by construction uh, since, uh, anyway, I don't want to spend time on this, but this is a key fact, okay? So <clears throat> after you have this, uh, you complete uh, the category, and you get uh, an abelian category because I what, uh, what I was saying, okay? So as uh, a consequence, uh, CT is abelian. 
Okay, so now we have that uh, the TT models of E are, by the universal property of uh, the completion, are exact functors uh, from uh, CT to E. This is a key fact. Hmm? So this is for, uh, for E exact. I, I drop a bar exact, I mean exact. Okay? <clears throat> so this means that uh, if you put uh, E equal to CT, we get, uh, as usual, a model in CT, okay? which is uh, our T tilde in the factorization. And uh, if we put uh, E equal to abelian groups, uh, we get, we get uh, <clears throat> because uh, model of this theory in, uh, in a category are functors from this to this. So if you have, since we have, uh, we have uh, a mo T is a model of this theory, in particular. So. OK? So <clears throat> now, just note that uh, I use this. Uh, now, any functor. Uh, sorry, any representation d to a, which is uh, a model yields sui. Okay, so this is uh, because of uh, this property. Okay, so. Is a, a is any abelian category. But in fact, this is for also for exact. This, this A here, I'm using A abelian category because I want to prove the theorem, which is a factorization for abelian, but this is true even for exact. Okay? So, so if uh, D S. Now, we want to have a model S out of this condition that I put in the, in the diagram, right? So you have S A with F to ab, which is a factorization of T, right? But the key point is that if F is exact plus faithful, and here the faithfulness is very important. And then uh, it reflects uh, the validity of all uh, regular sequence. So if, since uh, you have uh, this uh, composition, f is equal to t, so you have uh, that uh, s, uh, so this implies that s uh, itself uh, is uh, a t, t model in A. And then everything works, OK? So this is uh, so simple and so beautiful and uh, so deep, I would say, because it gives a pattern, OK? And the pattern is what is coming. So let's apply this to the case of uh, schemes, OK? So there is a step in between, OK? So let's apply to schemes. So, which is uh, the case I am mostly interested, but of course uh, I'm sure that applies to uh, many other situations. So now let's see what are Nori motives. And uh, I denote uh, Nori motives by EHM, uh, where E is effective, H is homological, and M is motives, and every, I mean, this is notation of Nori, and these are actually mixed motifs, not uh, pure motifs. So the abelian category that you have is not uh, 
just uh, semi-simple, is uh, really a, an abelian category with extensions. You want to distinguish between the two. Pure motifs and the mixed motifs. Right. This, the, main, the main difference is uh, that you have extensions in mixed motifs. Okay? So in, uh, you, you want to have abelian categories with extensions, not, not just semi-simple abelian categories. And if you, <coughs> yes, OK, we, we turn on this point later, maybe. Because we, you might wonder how do I get uh, pure motifs, but uh, there is a way. Right, so let's take uh, C to be schemes. And now put the condition to have a subfield of C. And of course, as I said, the schemes are, uh, <coughs> are of funny type. Okay, if you want, you can reduce to affine schemes. There is no problem to extend everything from affine schemes. Okay, so D is the diagram of Nori, which is uh, objects are x, y, n with y inside the x closed, and n an integer. And you have arrows. Uh, which are of two types. Uh, same n. Eh? Whenever you have uh, y into x, uh, x prime, x prime here, commutative, and uh, associated to uh, this diagram, z, uh, y, x, y, here, that I call boundary, there is something which is uh, going from the other way, which is n to yz, n minus 1. Okay? Okay. Corresponding to the excision exact sequence. Uh, not the excision, but the triple. Yes. yes. You formalize, uh, OK, so this is uh, the diagram. And then what you take as a representation, you take uh, the, you, you, in this case, uh, you have a, a very, very natural uh, homology, which is a singular homology of spaces. Uh, because you can, if you have an algebraic variety which is defined over k, you can pull back to c, and you can take uh, c points. And this is uh, as a usual topology. And so you can get the diagram, which is uh, t from d to ab x y n associate to h n x c <coughs> y c n and uh, sorry relative homology of uh, yes the homology of a pair this is a singular homology of a pair. OK. And, oops. Luca, you have that CN is a short way of the last end. Oh, so, 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 sorry. Yes, thank you. I'm trying to go a little faster, but uh, let's see. So, and then, of course, you see, you get uh, HN, uh, X, uh, C, Y, C to h n minus 1, uh, y c <coughs> z of c, which is the boundary map, uh, let's say call it uh, delta n, which is associated to the longest uh, sequence of uh, the triple. Okay, so e h m is uh, c t by definition. And uh, here you have uh, t t is the, if you want, uh, regular theory by definition, again, regular theory of a singular homology. Of course, uh, they might, I mean, it has uh, maybe infinite uh, number of axioms, uh, but uh, no, no, no problem, OK? OK, so now this is uh, coming with a nice topos, which is the following one. Of course, you know, because it's a regular theory. You have a topology, which is a regular topology given by regular AP. And 
this top off. So. E of uh, t is uh, actually equivalent to the shifts of the HM. This is the abelian category given by this, uh, where the topology, where here shifts are for the descent topology. In fact, uh, is a uh, Predescents or descents, effective descents, regular AP, AP are all the same in uh, this situation. Yeah? Covers. Covers, yes. All uh, covers is a regular AP for. Uh, one, one, AP. one, one. Ah, they, what are the covers? The covers are given by sieves which contains one AP. One, one AP. One, one arrow uh, whose image is the identity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, so, so sorry, yes, yes. Yes. Regular. regular APs are uh, subjective maps. And, uh, because they're factorization, uh, in, a category, in a regular category, the image are given. As a, as a cover followed by a mono? But it's, it's the same as to take the descent topology, in fact. I think it's not an effective descent, even on the regular category. But uh, OK, let me go back. Uh, so the first construction is, in a, is an abelian category, EHM, yes. and then the top off. <clears throat> and this is the, just all sheaves huh? for this topology, which is actually the same of the, the topology given. So this is uh, so reg TTJ, if you want, a reg by definition. And this is an equivalence. Uh, Okay, is uh, the, we could call it the envelope in topos of the abelian Yeah, okay, okay, good. And uh, uh, inside that we have uh, ab, uh, as I said, of uh, tt. <coughs> okay. And here you have a nice uh, object, uh, which is, uh, object, sorry, <laughs> is, an, is a nice subcategory, which is ind ehm, which is also containing, of course, AHM. So as you see, you have a T motifs, the TT motifs, uh, and uh, these are uh, constructible TT motifs. Uh, and uh, <coughs> in fact, uh, you, of course, uh, you, so, of course, uh, it's, uh, yes, uh, these are uh, left ex exact functors on. Uh, on the, uh, the, uh, the abelian group in the... Uh, abelian group in the side of the top, are the shifts of abelian groups uh, for this topology. The other left in that context. Yeah. yeah. I mean... The, no, no, but I, you, oh, 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 you can have a non-additive. So... The, the abelian, the abelian. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But uh, you can have, even if they are abelian, they might not be additive. Okay. So what you are saying is something... Uh, is a little is a little more <laughs> fine, but uh, you're right. Uh, if you add the additivity, you are equal. Okay. So that's the end, which is the left of that So put uh, in this way, pre sheaves uh, of uh, EHM. Uh, let's say are here, and uh, then you have ab. So let me do that. Uh, abelian pre sheaves. Uh, here you have additive, additive abelian pre-shifts over EHM. And, <clears throat> and then, yes, and then I, I think that uh, the intersection of these two is this one. This is what you are saying. Which is the left exact uh, yeah, yeah. prevalent function, yeah. right? Yes. OK, so this, this uh, R left exact. Uh, EH, I will use this. EH M up on ab. This, this is the uh, the Grotten Dick Cabinet category and blow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. So you have. Uh, okay. So this is the pattern. Uh, you can uh, remove uh, the conditions on the <clears throat> being. So you can. Um, so yes, I, I don't have uh, so much time, but uh, I can try 
to explain how to remove t, the index t everywhere. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you just uh, start. Uh, so, two. So, t motis, uh, but uh, I mean only abelian for the moment. So you start with c and m. Okay, so M should be uh, a subcategory of arrows uh, of C, which contains iso. C. Okay, so for example, you can take a mono if you like. In fact, it applies also even to C abelian, what I'm saying. I get uh, every, e even in delta functors, I get in this way, as models of this theory. So I consider C square. The category, the category that you can imagine uh, is given by objects R <coughs> squares. Where these are in M. <coughs> so sorry, objects are these and uh, morphisms are squares, okay? And uh, we shall just denote uh, x, y to x prime, y prime, such a map. So this is uh, the map. And uh, also, as uh, uh, is there, yes, I have also this. Uh, so in this case, uh, are my, the closed sets are uh, this M. And uh, <clears throat> now you take uh, sigma is the same signature, essentially, where uh, you have uh, Signature R H. I can denote this, uh, which are, if you want, X, Y, N. Just this is just a symbol, okay? And uh, the same signature as the same as above. Of course, as above, uh, where D is uh, this diagram. Okay, so I'm a bit uh, fast. Now, what are the axioms? So the axioms, uh, now I have to put, because I don't uh, want to use a model. I just want to put the uh, axioms. So I put the minimal axioms that we know, in a, at least in algebraic geometry, or I think in algebra, homological algebra, are good axioms. So Hn is a group, uh, if you want, a billion group, uh, to that uh, Hn x, y, 2, h, n, x prime, r, homomorphism, but also the one which is given by h, when, by the boundary, h, n, minus 1, y, z. And oh, 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 I, these, are for, these are for n in z. I just take all n. So I index, the index, the index is Z. So if you want, these are just point of a diagram. Uh, not, not, uh, don't think this to, this is a syntactic uh, situation, as uh, Olivia would say. Okay. So now <coughs> I also want, uh, I don't know how oh, it's, um, oh, good. I still have some time, so I, so. So, of course, you want uh, x, y, r functors uh, on c square and uh, hn x, y in uh, hn minus 1 y, z is, uh, a nat is a natural transformation. So, these are all, these all, these all are equational conditions. So up to now we are in a Cartesian theory. And also the next uh, is, of course, uh, that you, you all the way for uh, the boundary, you can factorize uh, as uh, this diagram. This is uh, delta. Okay, so you have 
I have in the signature these maps, uh, H and Z, H <coughs> and, <coughs> ah, sorry, this is, uh, sorry, this is YZ. Uh, inside this, this is equal, and so here I have HY and this H and minus one of YZ. I, I have all these maps in the signature, and I, now I can put the condition that this is exact, which means that the composition is zero, I have it zero, okay? And if there is something which is going to zero, then there exists some elements. So that uh, the only, so if you want in, a, in this uh, arrow, so, so the only axioms, which has been considered by Olivia as well, <coughs> is that if you have a consecutive arrows and Vy is zero, then there exists an x such that uh, Vx is equal to y. So this involves uh, the quantifier, uh, existential quantifier. And so if you put uh, this, you get uh, something which is no more equation. Okay, so, so now you get uh, this uh, theory which, and you do the same pattern, exactly the same pattern as above, and you get an abelian category, which is the abelian category of uh, constructible T motives. Okay, so I don't have to explain how to get the functor, but uh, the, this has less uh, axioms than uh, above, and the same proof uh, gives that this is additive. So it implies that, uh, so E, T, is a billion. Okay. So what is the model for this theory? It's just a, a family of functors on C which satisfy these axioms. So you can see that if you start, for example, for C to be in a billion category, and you take monos, you have a delta functors as models. But if, it, if you consider the pattern of uh, singular homology, I give you some models in a billion category. So singular homology, of course, is a model, but uh, I have uh, a slightly refined model, which is suzlin vevotsky singular module. Okay, so this is, uh, you take a C equal to schemes, uh, okay, and uh, you take uh, A to be precise uh, over correspondences, and here I have to put additive pre-shifts. Pre Sometimes this is pre-shifts with transfer, and this is a, a billion, even a growth in the category, okay? And you have, uh, for X, uh, a scheme, a representable pre shift uh, which is just, uh, I, I don't have it, uh, these correspondences are just uh, multifunctions and they are given on smooth schemes, so I don't have time to explain what are they are, but you can define this, okay? So, and <coughs> you have S of X, which is C star of L of X, which is called Suslin Levoski singular chain complex, right? So this is a functor, and in fact, uh, is an exact functor on this category. So you have, uh, if you have a clause SY inside this, uh, so Y close inside this, you have this. Uh, so this implies uh, that you can define the relative one. Uh, and uh, if you take uh, homology of this, uh, gives uh, hi y in this category A, <coughs> which are model of our theory. What does it mean? It means that uh, we have uh, a functor from 
and I'm, uh, I think I'm done. Uh, I, I just uh, end, uh, end up with uh, this, and then you might ask uh, questions uh, if we have time. So <clears throat> what I want to say is that, uh, yes, well, I, I, I just want to say that uh, this gives uh, a factor to this one. Because uh, you have a model in this category A, which is actually incomplete. So you have uh, in the A, T, in A. Okay? And uh, I don't have time to explain, but uh, a very simple lemma gives uh, a condition, I mean, this is a property of uh, not uh, a pair, but a triple. So when you have, uh, I would say, not x, y, z, but uh, uh, x, y, z, and w, you have two boundaries, and a small magic, as you would say, gives the composition is zero. So you construct a spectral sequence in the category a, t, and then you can take uh, total complexes of these uh, spectral sequences, and you get uh, a natural, very natural factor from uh, schemes uh, to the, in the category of AT, which lifts the construction of Nori, actually. So when I put uh, uh, also, Nori, also Nori is a model of this theory, because Nori, you remember, you have a T inside AB, but you have a lift of this, right? So also for Nori, you have uh, uh, this uh, T tilde from uh, C uh, schemes over K to EHM gives uh, H tilde, I would call I, X, C, Y, C, which are models, are also models of uh, T. So in the sense uh, of uh, Olivia, this uh, T is, uh, here you, the theory of T is uh, a, a bigger, okay? So there are, I add axioms. Of course, these are regular axioms, so they are satisfied by the, the Norris uh, singular modules, trivially satisfied, okay? And then uh, you have many more axioms. So you have uh, this, and this means uh, that uh, this one maps to this one, uh, and then uh, you go to end again, uh, and uh, you get a factor on end, and uh, uh, you, in the construction of Nori, you really need IND to get a functor. It's not just a joke that you go to IND. You really need IND. It's not that you cannot uh, uh, avoid this IND. Okay? So, and uh, sorry for uh, um, a little bit, uh, uh, just uh, about half of what I was saying, <laughs> I was planning to say. Okay, okay thank you. We will take two minutes for Weaver. So, yeah. question? Yeah, so here you have constructed this functor. So, the, do you expect uh, this functor to be an equivalence or not? Or, uh, no. No, you don't. No, yeah, no. You are sure it is not? Uh, yeah. I'm sure it's not an equivalence, uh, yeah. but uh, you know, is a, I think the objects are the same yes. because our form, I mean, are given by the uh, formulas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and, uh, and you, when you put more, uh, more, um, more axioms, uh, you, you, you put the relations. Yeah. So what I expect, uh, this is a cert quotient. In fact, what I expect uh, is that uh, D of uh, in the my, the conjecture that I have, if you want uh, some uh, expectation, is that uh, you, when you do this uh, derived category of end, and you map uh, to the derived category of end of AHM, I I, what I expect is that uh, this is the localization of this. So then where you add exactly I1 homotopy invariance and my Hervitoris that you don't have uh, at the level of uh, axioms because I put, uh, and, uh, and similarly, when you go to... So, so you, yes. you expect that uh, it would be enough to, to uh, localize at this? Yes. This. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I strongly expect that uh, this process uh, stabilizes 
as soon as you impose uh, these two conditions. This is, uh, of course, uh, because uh, you, you see, in some sense, uh, if you, the, okay, if you if you have the functor c to this, uh, okay, then uh, you have a model of your theory inside uh, ind, and you can iterate this uh, because uh, if you take homology here, you get a <laughs> you get a, no, a new model inside ind, and uh, then you can iterate, okay. But uh, you can iterate because I, I don't have any assumption on C. As soon as, uh, as, soon as I have, uh, I have uh, an interval object and uh, shift conditions, uh, in some sense, uh, these are enough uh, to uh, put all relations which stabilize uh, this uh, iteration. This is the idea. But of course, I, 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 I cannot, I, it's just, uh, you know. But what is uh, incredible for me is that uh, you, you can go the other way. Because uh, in some sense, uh, uh, we, we have a functor from uh, non motives uh, to, uh, we have, uh, sorry, a functor from uh, DM geometric uh, Vevosky motives uh, to the derived category of EHM. This we have. And, uh, the big conjecture is that uh, this functor is fully faithful. Okay? If it is, uh, then you see that uh, because uh, you have a faithful realization here, you should have here, and this gives a T structure on this uh, triangular category. And what I have is uh, something in here, which is a presentation of both, which they share, in some sense, uh, the same structure if I can embed both inside. And uh, it seems that uh, the only thing that uh, I miss is these two conditions in, in both cases, OK? And what we know uh, for, the, uh, for the last uh, is why I, I, I strongly believe that uh, something like this should be true is that because inside this one, we, have, uh, we understand very well what is uh, the so-called category of uh, triangular category of one motifs, which is uh, equivalent to the derived category of uh, in the one motifs, which in turn is equivalent to the derived category of EHM1. Yeah. So in some sense, they in, in, in the, here I'm going up on the, on the picture. And on the, on the bottom, I know what is uh, going to, to, to be. Because, uh, so this is just a variation on, this is really a variation on the idea of Grothendieck that uh, uh, pure motifs uh, for curves are Jaco Jacobians. Eh? It's just this, okay? So if you want, you can see the category of, uh, <coughs> semi-simple category of abelian varieties as a model of the theory of motifs of H1 of a smooth projective curves, okay? Are inside this, okay? And this is a, a mixed situation, but still they, 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 they behave uh, nicely inside this. So the, the, the real problem is that uh, in some sense, uh, the T structure on this category at this level is well known. I, I mean, it's now well known. And in fact, uh, I mean, there is some work uh, here. And I, sorry, I have to, to prove this theorem. So these are not uh, just uh, trivial theorems. Are, uh, I have to add uh, Ayub. Uh, yeah, we have proven this with uh, Ayub and Khan. OK, so. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, at this level eh, is, uh, is uh, really uh, something that you, you don't know what to put. But uh, this is a natural candidate. 